All right, guys, so we're testing the new Gen 3 versus the Gen 2 Rome Sat. We'll do a speed test of the two. Gen 2, Gen 3. Pretty close. All right, so now we're gonna do one more test and then we're gonna do them separately. Nearly identical. Now we're gonna do one at a time so they're not competing against each other. Pretty good there. And this one. So Gen 3 was a little bit faster on that test. All right, mm -hmm. so we're gonna do one last test, but so far our conclusion is that the speed tests are nearly identical. It's just the inconsistencies between the satellites. So again, Gen 2, Gen 3. So here, Gen 2 is actually faster. So, yeah, I don't know if you're really gaining much by this, especially having an external router, power supply, plugging it in. Rome set. All right guys, so here we are. 12 volt DC power running the Gen 3 dish off the Rome set. Current speed test. We've bypassed the original cables, router, power supply. That's the Rome set unit there. So yeah, we have it running on DC power. Um, the speed tests I would say are inconclusive. One second it's 250 megabits per second. The next test it's 40 or 50. But as you can see, this dish is significantly larger than this box. It's going to be probably two inches in each dimension. So not quite as portable as the Gen 2. But uh, for maybe more of a permanent install running off of 12 volts, this could be a viable option. But uh, for now, I would say the Gen 2 is kind of the winner. Um, speed tests are equally as good. A lot uh, smaller packaging and obviously super portable. So there you have it.